All right, Fox 26 is your Gulf Coast weather authority. Meteorologist Ramisha Shade is in with a check of the forecast. Yes. It got pretty humid out there today. That will continue <laughs> day after day after day, at least until the cold front this weekend. So we have to get used to it for a few more days. But of course, this summer, it's going to be every day. Oh, but man. We will get a bit of a break this weekend as that cold front moves through. But for now, it is going to be warm. It's going to be humid. But at least we are keeping the severe weather away for tonight. It's up near the Chicago area in the upper Midwest. That's where we've had some reports of a few tornadoes in eastern Iowa. Now we've got a line of strong to severe storms heading towards the Chicagoland area. So that is where the worst of the weather will be for tonight. However, we do have our own chance for some heavy rain and storms, but it likely will hold off the majority of it at least until the weekend. Before that, we're really heating up. We were just talking about all of that humidity that sticks around through the end of the work week and temperatures very close to 90 degrees for some of you over the next couple of days. So prepare for the sizzle for the next few afternoons. It is mild out there for tonight. Whether where you live, Pearland, Brenham, Spring, middle 70s, clouds remain pretty thick, but no rain showing up at this point. Houston looking good, a quiet night. That's what we like to see. Temperatures still though close to 80. That wind though starting to calm down just a little bit. It was pretty breezy today, but with less wind tonight, that could set the stage for some patchy things thick fog, especially if you live near or south of Interstate 10. So watch out for that to potentially be an issue in the morning. As far as severe weather, I don't expect any tonight. Our outlook for tomorrow will show a few storms possible back across parts of north and central Texas. That includes Waco, Colleen, but we are not included in that threat. However, let's jump ahead to Thursday and notice that the low marginal one out of five severe risk does clip our northwestern counties, especially up towards Brenham, Navasota, Willis, Huntsville. You may get an isolated strong storm Thursday evening and Thursday night. However, it's going to be a slim shot. As we go into tomorrow, clouds stay thick. It's going to be warm. It's going to be muggy, but I think the storms stay away for your Wednesday. So it's going to be great park weather if you can deal with the heat. Thursday, though, notice big line of showers and storms developing around 7 o'clock, stretching from the Dallas area down to Austin. That is the line that could make its way into our northwestern spots by Thursday evening, Thursday night, and maybe a stray strong storm could clip the Brenham, College Station, Huntsville area, so we'll have to watch for that. Otherwise, we'll have to wait really until the weekend. That is when the widespread shower and storm action starts to roll in. So if you've got plans for dinner and a movie, maybe you're going to a concert Saturday night, you're going to run into some rain most likely because that is when it will really start to increase ahead of our next cold front. Heavy rain lingers Sunday morning and then that front should push through and that should put an end to the widespread rain threat. There could be a few strong storms. However, we're not outlook for any severe weather at this point, so that is good news. But here's what you can expect. Just limited, very low rain chances for Wednesday, Thursday and Friday to wrap up the work week. But by this weekend, rain chances jump up to 50 to 60 percent. So make sure you are prepared for some possible delays to your plans this weekend. You may have to rearrange a few things to work around the inclement weather. Tonight, it is going to be mild all across Harris County, Houston and Eastern Harris County, LaPorte, Channel View, Western Harris County, Cypress, Katy, a mild night in the 70s, but close to 90 for tomorrow. So it is going to be a steamy afternoon for tomorrow, even hotter for Thursday and Friday, but we're keeping most of that rain away. However, this weekend, scattered showers and storms look to be a good bet, especially late Saturday into Sunday morning. So plan around that, but enjoy the cooler temperatures behind that cold front. Highs in the middle 70s early next week. Yeah, those look like some nice days. We've got to take advantage as much as we can because you know what's right around the corner. Don't remind me. 90s, <laughs> triple digits, Between or triple digits. <laughs> your report and then Lena's report earlier about ERCOT oh, is like, ah, it's on the stress. way. <laughs> All right, thanks for Misha.